Hello, I'm Ashpika and welcome to our CL246 heat transfer project presentation. We are group 28. Our project is all about utilizing our vehicle exhaust for maintaining the temperature of delivery boxes. We talked to various potential customers who order food online and asked about their experiences with the same. This is how we chose our topic. So coming to the thing that came up in every conversation was the issue that the delivered food loses its taste and quality because it gets cold. So online food deliveries are widespread in this online era, especially during and after the lockdown. Approximately 2 million food deliveries take place every day in India. The food item to be delivered to the customer takes at least 15 to 30 minutes from the time of preparation. During the delivery period, the food The food item gets cold and it loses its quality and taste as well. The present innovation is to tackle this problem by providing an arrangement that will keep the food warm until the time of delivery. Innovations to keep the food warm included various venting configurations, heated bags, supplying added heat through the insertion of externally heated discs, electrical heating elements, or pallets heated by induction from electrically generated magnetic waves. Still, some techniques are not fully viable for commercial purposes. The basic principle of working for our arrangement is transferring heat energy of the waste exhaust gas to the food chamber, which will maintain the food temperature and also reduce the heat from the exhaust. What benefits can one get due to this innovation? The individuals who order food will get hot and sizzling food at their doorsteps. Companies that supply and deliver food will get a five-star rating and customer satisfaction. This can also result in, the, in their better turnover. In our problem statement, we have considered a cubicle delivery box in which food is stored. The dimensions of the box are 0.5 meters by 0.5 meters by 0.5 meters uh, in length, breadth, and height. The initial temperature of the food is 70 degrees Celsius. That is generally the temperature of the food after cooking. The average temperature of the exhaust that flows inside the box is approximately 100 degrees Celsius. And the speed at which it enters the box is approximately 8.92 meter per second. The delivery box is separated into two chambers. The lower chamber is used to propagate the gas. The lower chamber consists of six baffles that are generally used to direct the flow of the exhaust gases. The upper chamber is used to store the food components. The lower and upper chambers is separated by a copper metal plate of thickness 2.5 millimeters. The plate is chosen such that the maximum heat transfer takes place through the plates. The minimum temperature required for the food not to lo lose its quality is 50 degrees Celsius. So it has been calculated that the average delivery time for food is approximately 130 minutes. So we aim to test and verify that the implementation of our model will keep the food warm adequately till the delivery to the user. As shown in the figure, the dotted line represents the boundary of the control volume. While choosing the control volume, we have to keep in mind that the modes of heat transfer. In our case, we observe heat transfer by conduction into the CV. Internally, there is no conduction through copper plates into the pizza box and radiation from pizza box into the walls of the delivery box. Finally, the heat is lost to the surroundings in the form of convective heat transfer. The graph represents the various modes of heat transfer. The x-axis represents the distance and the y-axis represents the temperature. As seen in the graph, the plots marked with the one represents convection. In the second plot, the slope is linear, which represents that conduction is taking place. The third plot represents radiation of the heat. The fourth plot represents conduction. And the last plot represents convection. Handing it over to Samir. Thank you, Ashrata. I'll take it from you. The different modes of heat transfer we have considered in this problem statement are conduction, convection, and radiation. As marked in the figure, the mode of heat transfer at point one is convection 
at point 2 is conduction, at point 3 is radiation, and at point 4 is conduction, and at, and at point 5 is convection. Conduction or heat transfer by diffusion is the transport of energy from more energetic to the less energetic particles of a substance due to a temperature gradient. In the problem statement, conduction is occurring at two places. One is taking place through the copper metal sheet. The temperature at the bottom of the sheet is higher than the temperature above. So the heat is flowing from the lower level to the higher one. The second place where the conduction is taking place is through the delivery box. Heat is transferred from the delivery box to the outer surroundings. Convection is the transfer of heat from one place to the another due to the moment of fluid when there is a temperature difference. In the problem statement, forced convection is taking place between the hot exhaust gas to the bottom of the copper sheet, which is further transferring heat to the food packet. Convection is also taking place outside the delivery box, from the outer surface of the delivery box to the outside air where, when the vehicle is moving at a velocity. We have neglected the free convection between the pizza or food box and the air inside the delivery box because the volume is very small, due to which free convection could not be set up. Radiation is the emission or transmission of energy in the form of waves or particles through space or through a material medium. In this case, the pizza or food box is radiating heat to the walls of the delivery box. The dominant mode of heat transfer is conduction as the heat is transferred to the food box by the hot exhaust gases whose temperature is very high through conduction through the copper plate. The sheet which is used to separate the gas chamber should have high thermal conductivity so that the maximum heat could be conducted through the through that to the food or pizza box. We have used copper since copper has the highest thermal conductivity and its thermal conductivity is 401 watt per square meter. It is also economically feasible. It consists of the following gases. Nitrogen, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxygen, sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides. These are the following assumptions we have made to simplify the problem statement. Number one, we have used, we have assumed steady state. Number two, the temperature of exhaust gas is constant throughout chamber. Number three, negligible free convection in delivery boxes. Number four, heat lost by baffles is considered negligible. Number five, pizza temperature is equivalent to the inner surface of the copper plate on which it, on which it is kept. Number six, properties of exhaust gas are similar to nitrogen as it majorly uh, constitutes exhaust gases. Now I'll hand it over to Harsh Kumar. Thank you, Samir. Uh, I'll begin with the solution part. So basically we have the heat being transferred from the exhaust gas to the copper plate and, the, uh, and we have put baffles in the way of the exhaust gas so that it spends more time inside the chamber that will facilitate the transfer of heat efficiently. So the exhaust gas transfers the heat to the copper plate through convection and the governing equation is a conventional equation of Q, uh, Q convection of the exhaust gas that is equal to H of the exhaust gas into area of the plate into the delta T. In this conventional equation, we need to add uh, calculate H uh, of the exhaust gas using the Nusselt number correlations uh, and because the flow is laminar we use the laminar Nusselt number correlation that is 0 0.332 into crash of number of the exhaust raised to the power 1 by 4 into Prandtl number raised to the power 0 0.333. After that, once the heat has been transferred to the copper plate, it will transfer the heat to the pizza through conduction. So the governing equation for conduction is Q conduction of the, uh, of, uh, the plate is K of the copper plate into area of the plate divided by the thickness of the plate into delta T of the plate. That is T temperature of the plate minus temperature of the pizza. Now the heat that started from the exhaust gas has reached the plate and now it has been transferred to the pizza. Now the pizza will radiate this heat to the container walls. It should be noted that though pizza will also lose heat in the form of convection, but because the dimension of the box is so small and the amount of air present will be very negligible, free convection will not play a significant role and the calculations also suggested the same. Hence, 
radiation will be the dominant effect inside the container. Q radiation will, will be Stefan's constant into emissivity of the pizza, into area of the pizza, multiplied by T pizza raised to the power 4 minus T wall raised to the power 4. Now, once the heat has reached the walls of the container, it will pass through it through its surface and moving across the surface, conduction will occur. So, Q conduction will be uh, K of the wall into area of the wall divided by X of the uh, X wall. That is the thickness of the wall into delta T. That is T wall in minus T wall out. Finally, the heat will be transferred to the surroundings in the form of convection. And for convection, the equation we use is Q convection outside equals to H air out into area of the wall into delta T. So these are the different parameters we used in our uh, model calculation. And in the last row, we observed that the T pizza comes out to be 328.15 Kelvin. That is approximately 55 degrees Celsius. Other parameters are also mentioned to cross-check the validation of the model. Moreover, we took E pizza equals to 0 0.9 and temperature of the wall inside came out to be 300.65 Kelvin. Finally, moving to the conclusion, we may conclude that uh, the model has been very efficient as to keeping the food adequately warm. We get a final temperature of 55 degrees Celsius, which is pretty optimal to keep the food delicious and warm. Thus, the solution is reasonable. We also note that even though the uh, model is efficient and effective, it is not used commercially. The reason being the temperature drop at the uh, end of the exhaust gas uh, leads to in decrease in efficiency of the vehicle uh, in the in the context of the fuel, like the fuel consumption increases. That's why the commercial firms do not prefer this method and it is not used commercially. However, on doing some research and referring various research papers, we concluded that if we put a fan at the end of the exhaust, the fuel consumption may reduce by uh, around 50%. Also, the assurity of serving the warm food will make the brand value grow. So the uh, loss due to the fuel consumption can be compensated by it. So there is still a lot of scope of implementing this model effectively, but we'll need to tinker a bit uh, with the design of the vehicle and various other aspects. So we as a group will try to explore the possibility of the same from the heat transfer point of view, even after the course. And last but not the least, I would like to thank Professor Sunsar and Professor Venkat for giving us this opportunity to explore uh, this heat transfer in real life. Thank you.